guys, welcome back to part two of The Flanks by Jason Merrill. And, uh, yeah, so for more details, you can go to part one. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. So you're going to want to fold this edge to that crease. And then fold the edge that you just made to the same crease. And then you're going to inside reverse fold in and out along those creases that you just made. And then you're going to fold back this layer for more space so that you can repeat the same on this tiny flap. How this model is, is, well, how this model is folded is that at first you're going to start forming the missile racks. And then you're going to start forming the landing gear and other stuff. So you're just repeating the same to this tiny flap. And then for the last flap, you're actually just going to fold both layers down, fold this flap over, and then fold the edge to the crease again, like what you did to the first flap. Fold everything back instead of inside reverse folding that last flap. And then you're going to repeat the same on the other side. Again, the small flap might be trickier than the larger flap, just because that it's way smaller. Once you've done that, you are going to fold the model out like that, fold these flaps over like that, and you're going to make sure that everything is aligned, and then Fold this point to that point and unfold. And then you're going to rabbit your fold these creases to that crease you just made. 
again, make sure that the layers are aligned before you fold them over. Like that. And sometimes it is very difficult to keep these two layers together because they might slide out of place as you're folding the model. So just grab your fold the creases to the crease you made. And next you're going to fold these layers up like that. So fold until you fold up this flap and then you can stop because if you fold up all of them it's not the correct way of folding it so next you're going to fold this flap over and repeat the same just fold these this flap up until you start to open up this flap and then fold it over again And then you're going to rotate the model and fold this point to that point, making a swivel fold, or forming a swivel fold, which is just some pockets right now. So you're going to flatten the pockets. So basically, you're making a crease from that point to that point, same on the other side, and a crease from that point to the top. This is just pre-creasing, so that when you unfold it, you are going to squash fold the flap. going to sort of perform a modified petal fold like that and you can fold and unfold this flap down as this is the front landing strut finished. And, uh, yeah, next you're going to turn the model over. No, first you're going to fold this flap up to the point. You're going to notice it goes right through those points. You're going to turn the model over, repeat on the other side, but sometimes these creases don't align really well so if they're spaced out that's okay next you're going to fold these flaps down from the top point and landing this edge on itself repeat on the other side Next, you're going to turn the model over and fold the edge that you just made into the center. Repeat on the other side. And then, if these layers are going past the edge, you're going to make sure you crease it sharply. Unfold the layers and fold them to the new crease that you made. This could be both, or this could be only one. Then you can...
fold this flap over and the other one over as well. And if it's still not right, you can keep on adjusting them until they are both perfect like that. Next, you're going to just unfold and inside of this fold along the creases. That you just made. And you may need to adjust some of these folds. And before you can you do that, you can repeat on the other side. And again, you can adjust some of these folds, like for an example, these folds, they're going past the edge. So if you are done with adjusting the model, you are going to then fold these flaps over. Like that, crease them sharply, close this, and it might be helpful to fold this over, and then fold these flaps over to make them more accurate. Then you can fold it back down, crease them sharply, and unfold. You're going to repeat that on the other side. So fold this up, as well as this flap. Fold this back down, fold this flap up as well. Crease everything sharply before you are going to unfold them. And then, you are going to fold this layer over, or one of these layers over, and then you're just going to fold this layer over as well, and just, you're going to fold up along the crease you made, fold this flap over, like that. Fold it back over. And for this flap, you are just going to swivel it down like that. And if you have done it correctly, the center of the squash fold should be facing perfectly vertical and not facing down. Because if it is facing down, then your wing won't come out as wide as it will. And that will lead to a small wing. So you can adjust the crease in any way. And the wing should be like that. Crease this all very sharply. Because next you're going to fold this out and bring that crease down like that. And then, you're going to bring that crease, the crease that you got when you brought the flap down, you're going to bring that crease as well down, like that. You're going to crease this very sharply, because next you're going to partially unfold 
the model. Just this part of the wing. And then you are going to valley fold along this crease. And then mount and fold along the two diagonal creases underneath it. Like that. And then you're going to make sure that when you do have everything flat, you're going to Once you have everything flat like that, you're going to make sure that you layered everything properly, so it should be like that. You can check the wing to make sure that it hasn't moved, and then you can repeat that on the other side. So fold the wing up. So you can fold the plane in half to match the two wings up. So you're just repeating the steps. So pull that crease down. Pull the crease that you just made down as well. Crease it very, very sharply. Unfold. Flatten this part. Partially unfold, crimp along the crease. This can be one of the most confusing parts of the plane as it needs you to partially unfold the model and to crimp it in a weird way. Make sure that when you're done with crimping it, every layer is pushed back in its spots. And after you've done that, fold the plane in half to match the wings up. If the wings aren't matching, you can adjust it, but sometimes you may need to just redo the crimp fold. Okay, next you are going to turn the model over and you're going to pedal fold the flap up along this crease you made earlier. Like that. And then you're 
you're going to flatten these two pockets from that edge out. So, one reminder, how you cut, how accurately you cut your paper impacts how the model is folded. So, if you messed up while cutting it, your model won't turn out very symmetrical. Like here, as you can see, sometimes when you cut your foil paper, it won't be symmetrical. So yeah, but next you're going to fold this point down to those two creases, and then you're going to outside wrap these two flaps, so just, just slightly unfold the petal fold, continue this crease. You're just going to continue this crease, but you're going to also fold along the crease you made while making those flaps. Make sure that they are fully wrapped around before you flatten it, like that. And next, you're going to fold this flap over perpendicular. Pull the paper out from underneath. Swivel fold it, pull the paper out from underneath, and you're going to inside reverse fold it, fold this flap or edge over like that, and this will reveal the crimp that you made while forming the wings, so if you didn't make a very good crimp, it will be viewed while the model is finished. So yeah. Next, you're going to fold this edge over. Fold both layers over. Fold this edge over as well. And fold this edge over. And then you're going to fold only one layer over. And that is the cockpit done if you don't need to adjust it. So, yeah, next you're going to... Fold, or lift this layer up, you're going to see this layer, you're going to swivel fold that down along the existing crease, like that, and this layer that you just swivel folded down will become the secondary, or the two rear tail fins that are sticking out of the wings. So you're going to repeat that on the other side. Next, you're going to Swivel fold these flaps down that you just made. So this will uh, have to make these flaps. You're going to have to keep that crease down. You're going to have to remake these a uh, crease. You're going to have to remake a couple of creases. So like, for an example, the bottom crease of this squash fold, 
and these two creases that you use to make to crimp fold the wings. And you're going to have to make sure that this edge is perpendicular to that edge. And you're going to repeat that on the other side. So just swivel fold, including the bottom flap of the squash fold. And you might need to, again, fold the model in half to match up the two tail fins. And, uh, yeah, once you have done that, you are going to pedal fold both of these flaps that you made. So this would be an asymmetrical pedal fold because one side is off while the other side isn't. So you're just going to pedal fold this. Pedal fold both of these flaps. And that will also finish off the rear landing struts. Next, you're going to Grab these inner layers and fold this out like that. Fold the layer over, grab this layer, fold it out like that. And once you have done all that, your model should look like this. So as you can see, it is starting to look like a jet or it is starting to look like that you are almost done, but you are almost, we are almost done, but not quite. So, uh, yeah, that is the end of part two. I hope you enjoyed folding up to this point, and I will see you in part three. Bye!